Hi, my name is Dom and welcome back to Top Gaming Plays. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed today's video and submit your clips using the link in the description. But let's get into it. With hover bikes taking over in Hyrule, Blondie's evolving to keep up with demand. Tori Etta wanted to highlight this little detail in Gerudo Town. Link couldn't read the book from this low down. Fetch a box from outside, however. Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Yes! Yes! Time for the prestigious Build of the Day Award. This is really smart. Kawaii is using a small wagon wheel to connect two propellers. This is a pretty big breakthrough as it creates a semi-steerable turbine. I'm unsure exactly how it works. My best guess from my research is that the steering stick almost creates a differential system. So Link turns right and the right wheel slows, creating almost a stall effect. The left wheel remains full speed, which causes the vehicle to turn right. I feel like this is going to improve a lot of builds. Dude, perfect. What's up guys, we're Dude Perfect, welcome to World Record Edition. Let's head inside and break some wrecks. Let's go! <laughs> this truly has an old school Dude Perfect vibe about it. Not sure what I expected from this Frox clip, but it was not this. We've seen a lot of Gundam builds on the channel, and this one by Jan is up there. I thought the build was impressive enough until I saw the light show. This threatens to completely revolutionize TOTK transport as we know it. I just can't. I can't. T-Wolf has only gone and revolutionized the Roomba meta. He's made a much improved homing cart weapon, and here's the interesting part. It doesn't use a homing cart at all. The build uses an upside down construct head with two stabilizers attached. The upside down construct provides traction to the small wheel below and that moves way faster than any homing car. The damage comes from six beam emitters either side of the wheel and a frost emitter on the front of the device. Take a look at T-Wolf's old Roomba that uses homing carts. Now watch this speed.
Cat Dude's running a similar design but has made a further discovery. If the construct head is active and putting traction into the small wheel, you can override the direction of the wheel using a steering stick. So Mangai Dude on YouTube has built this flux core mining machine and it's pretty interesting. I'll explain why in a minute. The machine works by using an electric motor to spin a flux core on the front of the vehicle. It's insanely good at breaking down ore deposits. And here's the interesting part, the flux core itself never seems to break. Mangai Dude ran some separate stress testing and he couldn't seem to break it, so there's a chance it's actually indestructible. And if you run into any trouble while mining, the flux core makes for a pretty mean weapon. Woomy Wobble calls this little vehicle the Swerve, and it handles all terrain like a champ. We all love the hover bike, except for this one thing. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new and we'll see you tomorrow for another video.